Hi folks, Alex Klingelhaver here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It is 849 here in the middle part of the country on Monday, November 15th, 2021. Gosh, I can't believe it's already halfway through November. Time is flying. Here's your morning job around the economic headlines of the world. Over the weekend, lots of economic news. We'll try to get through it as fast as we can. First and foremost, Royal Dutch Shell. Nope, just going to be Royal Shell on a go-forward basis. In name, we'll see. In reality, they're leaving the Netherlands. They're going to rebase the multinational oil conglomerate in London. Of course, just a few months ago, Dutch courts said, RDS, you have to start decarbonizing your business. Also, there's a 15% dividend withholding tax in the Netherlands that company's been trying to get away from. That's why they split the company into A and B shares. It'll be interesting to see if some additional companies follow RDS's move and start to rebase their locations based on sort of greenification laws that are now forcing companies to do business in ways that they wouldn't otherwise do business. RDS, now maybe just RS. Next. Casper going private at about a $500 million valuation, excuse me, $250 million valuation. It came public at about a $500 million valuation. Uh, remember, this is a company that just came public a year or so ago. It came public in 2020. Privately, it was valued at $2 billion at its high. Of course, Casper being one of the really forerunners of the direct-to-consumer brand, along with, uh, let's see, Allbirds, Warby Parker, etc. Problem is, they don't make any money, and they haven't made any money on a recurring basis. It'll be interesting to see if durational capital management can turn them around. I would expect, if there's a turnaround story, they're going to IPO this baby right back into the public markets here in a few years. Last but not least, we have two mergers to talk about. Cyrus won a $15 billion deal to KKR and American Tower buying CoreSight for $10 billion. Data centers, cell towers, information technology infrastructure deals are going to be hot on a go-forward basis. Two over this weekend, of course, part of the Build Back Better plan, which we think will be signed here in the next 48 hours, has to do with getting 5G and 4G into underserved areas. If so, these could be very attractive and accretive deals for shareholders. If you want some additional information throughout the week, feel free to follow me. As always, I am on Twitter. It's OKC CFA. CFP. Until then, I do hope you have a very good Monday. I'm out.